welcome to my channel. My name is Marina and I'll be doing your reading for today. It is a general love reading, so it might not resonate with all of you. It is for your sun, moon, rising and Venus sign. I hope you enjoy your reading for today. And for all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed and energies can go both ways. I'll be doing a tarot reading for your love situation. And do let me know with thumbs up if you like the reading. And if you want to support my channel, please subscribe and share with your friends and loved ones. And love and light to all of you. And with that being said, let's begin. So, Cancer. This is your December reading for 2021. And I'll be taking a look into your recent past, your current energy and your not-too-distant future. And then I'll finalize it with some advice and messages from the universe. So let's begin, shall we? Messages from the universe for December 2021 for my lovely Cancer. Messages from the universe for December 2021 for Cancer. And let's see what the messages are. So let's start with your recent past. Okay. So, my dear Cancer. I feel that in your recent past, uh, you have started, you know, you went through some pain and you have started to protect your heart. So you've, you know, you've want, you're wanting to protect your heart. You had to protect your heart because I feel that you loved and you trusted and, you know, somebody broke that trust. And um, then you had to make a decision to take the next step, whether it be to walk away or to leave the situation or just to, you know, um, tamper off. But I feel that, you know, you had a love obsession for this relationship. You were almost addicted with this relationship and it wasn't easy to taper off and to move yourself from this relationship, you know. Um, you saw the red flags, you, you knew things weren't working out. Uh, there were conflicts, there were fights and disputes, um, you know, with the Three of Swords, it tells me there were a lot of conflicts and sadness and, <clears throat> you know, you, you had to let go of this. You knew that you had to let go of this and the healing process started. Um, but there was a lot of sadness and pain and, den and, and denial about wanting to let go because so much love and so much emotional investment was invested in this. So... You know, I feel that you had to leave the situation and you had to abandon this love situation. And I feel also in this situation, there was a lot of coming and going, you know, breaking and starting and breaking and starting and forgiving and coming and going. You know, it was just ongoing, ongoing. It was like an addiction that you just couldn't, something had taken over you. You just couldn't stop. You know, if it was messaging or texting, uh, you know, or, or, or popping up at your certain someone's home, it was just... You know, constant. You, you couldn't even control yourself. You couldn't stop yourself. Your heart ruled you. Your heart ruled you. And this became like an addiction. This became like a, a sickness, a disease for you. You couldn't control this anymore. And you finally had to abandon this. You had to let go of this because this was eating you alive. And I feel that you got help from the divine. You got help from the angels, from the universe to move on, taper off, let go of this past and... Um, you know, start healing to be able to move on. So it was a bold action. It wasn't easy. Uh, whether you left the situation or somebody left you, either way, this situation was abandoned and it was a blessing in disguise. It had to be abandoned because there was a lot of pain in it, a lot of emotional pain in it, and enough was enough. So moving on to your current energy after all that pain that happened. And this is for December uh, 2021 readings. So this is your current energy here. Um, I see that, wow, I see that the two kings sitting by, side by side, you know, the king of pentacles and the king of cups sitting by side by side which tells me and the counselor with them my goodness you have truly truly reached to a stage of complete complete you've settled down i feel that you have completely uh, taken your confidence back um you are completely 
um, you know, you know that you're in a safe situation. You're not going to give your heart out there for nobody anymore because you, you're protecting and guarding your heart. And at the same time, you know what you've done. You know who you are and how much you've put out there. So, you know, now is the time to just soul search and re you've released all the pain. All the pain has been released. You've taken over and controlled your heart. You no longer, my goodness, even the Queen of Wands. We've got the two kings and the Queen of Wands. You are in complete and utter control in your current energy. You, are, you will be completely and utterly having self-love in control of your situation. You know that you are the best. You believe in yourself again. And you will never underestimate your ability again. You know... Um, that your personal life devastated you in the past and you're getting to realize and you're having the revelation and the epiphany to know that you are the best, you gave the best and you deserve the best. So now, my lovely Cancer, you will celebrate, you will celebrate with this accomplishment. You will celebrate with the release that you gave to yourself. You, you ended this pain and you've given room for new beginnings in the future. And with that, I see you truly transforming into a spiritual transformation. Uh, you know, I feel that the divine and the universe are going to help you with this transformation. Uh, they're making you stronger every day. You will no longer have the uh, obsession, uh, the addiction that you had. You've moved on from this certain someone. You know that uh, that pain, that you don't want to experience that pain again. But, you know, also, you know, sometimes we end up closing our heart when we, you know, experience a lot of pain. But that shouldn't be the case, my lovely Cancer, because I do see there's room for new doors opening. After you close one door, there will be another love door opening. But you need time to heal. I think you've been going through this healing, this self-love, and this is something truly amazing. The universe has helped you with this, to find this to find your self-worth again, to love yourself again, to know that you deserve true love and, if, and, and to love yourself is number one to love yourself, but to know that nobody should use you or abuse you in any way. So you've released yourself from this pain and you've had help from the divine, from yourself, from time. This wound, this scar has started to heal and I, I've got chills. I'm just so happy for you. It's about time and I feel that with this, this amazing um, new belief, new system, new self-love is going to get you to places that it'll reach you heights that you deserve and only you deserve so much. So, and you're not too distant future after this amazing turn of events. You continue to sit in that throne. I love that. You continue to sit in that throne. You continue um, with this queen of swords you continue to sit with this uh, throne you know that um you're focusing on yourself now you're focusing on your career now uh, you know you're you're done with giving your heart to somebody that doesn't care about you you know your true value of who you are now you've got a lot going on now you're busy with you and prioritizing yourself and busy with multitasking of yourself and learning you're learning new things and getting busy with your life and while you're doing all that, busy with yourself and, you know, uh, you know, taking care of yourself and some of you are learning uh, new tasks here, um, but mainly loving yourself and taking care of yourself. My goodness, I see a new start. There's a new love story coming, my dear Cancer. And I know some of you might say, I'm not ready for this. You know, I'm, I'm busy with me and that's all beautiful. You know, you have every right to love yourself first and be busy with yourself first. But there is a new start, a new beginning. You're opening the door. You're starting something new. You know, you are, there's a new certain someone around, okay? In your near future, not too distant future. Remember December, uh, this is the your December reading, 2021. Um, there's a new beginning, somebody new that's going to come in this picture. I see you having fears, you know. Um, you're listening to your intuition, with the moon card, there'll be revelations that will be more clear for you. You will start seeing things more clear, but 
you know, you're reevaluating because, you know, you're in a nice place. You're very happy. You've, you've done some well. You know, you've done, you've, you've come such a long way and you're, you're just so happy and safe. And you are guarding that heart and you are safe. But, you know, we can't spend all our life guarding that heart. We have to put our heart out there. We come here to experience love with its glory, with its pain, with everything. This is part of the experience. So I see that in your near future, uh, you are letting somebody in again. It's, you know, it's a dream love, you know, a dreamy love. Uh, it's a very nice love. It's a different love. You know, it's starting with flirtatious. It's not that deep and meaningful, nor that pain that comes with love. I just see you're, you know, you're going slowly, you're pacing step by step into this new love. And it's more of a friendship, flirtatious kind of love. But I really like it. It's different. It's different than when, what you've had before. You know, none of that deep and meaningful and painful love. This is more of a friendship, slowly, um, you know, there's butterflies. You feel like a teenager again. My God, even if you're in your 50s, you feel like you're a teenager with this love. It's very exciting love. So I think give this a chance, my lovely Cancer, because it will brighten your day. It'll keep you busy and it'll give you those tingling, amazing feelings. So I have a good feeling about this amazing new friendship that's coming. So let's get some more clarifications from the universe. Their advice about this story, this new amazing story that's coming into your life okay mm. right so we have here the two of swords right so mm, you're unable to make a decision so you need to follow your heart rather than to make you know to make others happy um but you are over, like, over analyzing the situation, okay? So you're going to worry about the situation, but take it easy, you know, take it slow, because ultimately, ultimately, as slow as this new friendship will come, it will turn, and I've got goosebumps here, because the Knight of Wands, right, and the Knight of Cups um, sitting together, is just amazing because I see this love charging, charging it. There's a lot of passion in this love. It will turn this slowly friendship, uh, innocent type of a new person that enters your life is going to turn into this amazing, passionate, charismatic love story, a passionate relationship, a romantic, flirtatious is there, a romantic uh, you know, you're going to be swept off your feet. It's going to, it's like overnight, it's going to turn into this amazing, amazing love story, uh, a true love story, but it's, it's making its way in slowly. But this time around, my lovely Cancer and the universe is advising, this time around, you will uh, be sitting in your throne. Nobody's going to hurt you this time around because it's this love. It's this love that's coming and charging and wanting and, and doing everything um, to have you, to have your attention. It's not you anymore, um, you know, going after it and doing your best and giving your hundred. It's this time around, you've sat back, you're sitting back. And if anything, you're very skeptical and pessimistic and, you know, you're reevaluating everything. But um, I see an amazing turn of events because this other certain someone that wants to come sweep you off your feet is going to do the impossible, my lovely Cancer, the impossible to sweep you off your feet. And I don't see you convinced. My goodness, what's happened? You know, you, you're just sitting there in your throne and they will have to do the impossible to convince you they are a worthy opponent for you. And my goodness, you're going to enjoy this amazing love story. So this is your message for today. An amazing message from the universe that there will be, and you know, there, there could be two. There could be two suitors. That's another amazing thing. There could be two suitors or just that, or one suitor that is going out of their way. But either way, there is, I see a high vibration in this story from uh, this love that will be charging so passionately and, and begging, begging you while you sit on your throne, begging you 
uh, to give them a chance uh, to make something of this. And, you know, we will see whether you will be convinced or not. But there is chemistry there. You do have attraction there. So, my goodness, this is truly amazing. It's a wonderful, wonderful message for your near future and advice. And I feel that truly you will get justice and in your love sector, truly you will be happy because for once somebody is going to be chasing you, uh, begging for your time and doing the impossible to please you, my lovely Cancer. So I hope you've enjoyed my video. Don't forget if it resonates with you, give me a thumbs up and to support my channel, please subscribe to it and share with your friends and loved ones. If you'd like to be notified when I upload my videos and nowadays I'm uploading every day. So just click on the notification bell and you'll be notified. So thank you very much. God bless and namaste. And thank you for watching.